I'm Francisca Mendez, the ambassador of Mexico in the UAE. I'm very happy today to share with you how we can prepare the cuisine in Mexico. I have just arrived uh, three months ago. I discovered this amazing uh, country and I found that one of the most important things to, uh, to get together the two cultures is uh, the cuisine because uh, the Mexican food and the emirati food has a lot of, uh, have a lot of elements in common so we can really uh, build a very, very special bridge uh, through the Mexican food and emirati food. I'm very proud uh, to share this amazing experience with my colleague and friend, uh, my consul of Mexico, David, who is an expert uh, in the Mexican cuisine. So please, uh, David, thank you very much for thank your you presence. Thank you very much, Excellency. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is David, uh, David David. I'm the consul of Mexico. Marhaba, uh, ahlan wa uh, It is a real pleasure to be with you uh, here today. Uh, we're very honored and proud uh, to share a menu, uh, to share a, a real Mexican menu for these uh, festivities. Uh, our food is one of the most important cultural uh, legacies that we have as a country, as uh, our food uh, was listed by UNESCO very recently, back in 2008 as an intangible cultural good because it preserves millennial uh, agricultural and uh, culinary techniques uh, for the use of the corn uh, that, that the, the peoples of Mexico uh, like created uh, thousands of years ago. Um, so we'll present a menu uh, combining uh, very ancient ingredients and techniques uh, and hope and hopefully you will you will like it and enjoy performing at home. Thank you very much. Uh, it's time uh, to go to the kitchen now. Hanal wat filmatba. Hello, here we are in the Mexican kitchen. For this special occasion, we have chosen four dishes, very special dishes, and we try to combine a difficult dishes with a simple and famous dishes. So uh, for the starter or for the snack also, we have the famous guacamole. For the second uh, dishes, we have a special, very, very special uh, soup which is uh, tortilla soup or uh, sopa azteca. The next uh, dishes is uh, a very sophisticated uh, dishes. It's very special. Uh, we uh, invited uh, in, um, this uh, special dish for a special occasion, which is the Independence Day, which the name is chiles en hogada or walnut uh, chiles, which is the, the sauce with the uh, walnut. With this uh, menu, we try to show you a variety of uh, the ingredients and the elements of the Mexican uh, cuisine. So I hope that you enjoy very well. So we start to the guacamole. It's really very simple. So we start to put all the ingredients in the bowl. The first ingredient that we have put in the molcajete is uh, David. We will uh, actually need the onion uh, first. We put the onion. Yeah. 
uh, it's uh, very finely chopped, which is uh, very important. It's a small, small pieces. Uh, the tomato. We have also the tomato. Uh, chili, uh, chopped chili, uh, chili jalapeno or serrano chili. As uh, I told you, you have to be very careful here eh? <laughs> because the Mexican people eat a lot of chili, so it's uh, it's very good. Just it's uh, not, uh, one spoon of coriander. Uh, our coriander is only a little bit, not too much. Fresh coriander. All the ingredients must be fresh, no? Yes. Uh, David? Oh, it's very important. Yes. And luckily we can find all of them in, in the market. Uh, yeah. we will, then we will uh, add, I will add the lemon. I will squeeze the lemon before we proceed adding the avocado. Uh, so it's the, the juice of one lime actually. In Mexico we use lime uh, that fortunately can be found here as well. Uh, if uh, you cannot find it, you can substitute uh, with, with lemon, but ideally it should be lime. And at the end, well, mm -hmm. most of the end, we, we add the avocado. So, you are ready to eat the guacamole, which is fantastic. So we start our second famous dishes. David, yes, explain thanks. very well how to prepare this duck. Well, it's very simple. You can use like uh, uh, chicken pieces or just use uh, uh, chicken broth uh, powder to make uh, the recipe easier if you, if you don't have as much time. Uh, you can uh, easily substitute by, uh, by, chicken, by chicken stock uh, powder. Uh, the first uh, step of the recipe and the most important one is to soak uh, to soak the, the pasilla chilies into the stock. Uh, and we will use six pasilla chilies, like one, uh, into the stock, two, three, four, five, and six. And there uh, we need, uh, we will uh, mix with the with the boiling uh, chicken stock and uh, simmer. We need to uh, like soak and, and simmer the chilies for about 10 to 15 minutes until they're soft and tender. So once uh, the, the stock is boiled, you have to yeah. mix the stock, the onion and the garlic. And uh, finally, after the, uh, the broth with the chilies is ready, we will mix uh, one fourth of, of a teaspoon uh, with the evaporated milk. We put the final um, ingredients in order to become really very tasty. So the first is the tortilla, which you can uh, put enough to, to taste very well. The next is the cheese. Grated halloumi. Halloumi, if you can buy in the supermarket. 
and the cheese with the stock boil become very very tasty and very soft and finally our ingredient uh, key and key ingredient which is uh, avocado so you have a very very tasty a nice sopa de tortilla or sopa azteca made in a really Mexican cuisine. This uh, dish uh, it is uh, chiles en hogada, so walnut uh, chiles, and it's really a uh, very intensive uh, labor. So uh, don't worry about this. It's a very sophisticated dish, but it's really, really amazing. Please, uh, David, uh, tell us how to prepare the stuff. Thank you, Ambassador. Well, the most important first step of this dish is the stuffing. Uh, so I will, I will bring uh, the ingredients like close to the stove uh, so that we can start doing it. I will take the ground beef uh, and like slowly uh, incorporate into the saucepan. This is a typical, typical dishes of the August of September in Mexico. We have our Independence Day, the National Day in September. And this is very typical because the final dishes has the three colors of the flag. It is very uh, beautiful uh, dishes. The next step will be adding uh, some of the stock into uh, the ground uh, beef. So it, it is ideal to leave it uh, like uh, cook and, evap and, and reduce for about 10 minutes. Uh, once the stock has evaporated, uh, we can add the chopped uh, peaches into the mix. All together with the apple and the pear. I will add now uh, the dried uh, fig uh, in Mexico, we, we use a fruit uh, called acitron, uh, but you can replace it by using a dry, a dry fig, a finely chopped. We'll incorporate the tomato. I incorporated the raisins. We'll, we'll incorporate some parsley and salt and salt and pepper in the end. We'll season a bit with some salt. I will add the clove, the cinnamon, and finally the almonds. This is a very, very mixed dish because combined the Arabic and the Spanish and the Mexican culture. And the stuffing is ready. So we are in the second step of these uh, marvelous uh, dishes. Uh, we are going to prepare the sauce. Meanwhile, the stuffing is in low fire. Uh, it requires about uh, 40 minutes. So in the meanwhile time, we prepare the sauce. You notice that uh, all these ingredients are perfect uh, for the Ramadan because we have walnuts, pomegranates, uh, chiles, cheese cream, which is very energetic, very healthy. So you can use perfect uh, to in the season of uh, Ramadan. So we start to put the ingredients in the process. We put the cheese uh, cream. We put the cream. Mm -hmm. 
So we finished the second step of this main course and, and now we prepare the chiles in uh, Ogada with the final touch. Uh, we have already all the ingredients uh, for um, filling the, the chiles and Ogada. So we have the stuffing, we have the chiles, we have the parcel, the pomegranate and the sauce. The sauce uh, you can see very well uh, the preparation. So uh, the chiles and Ogada, it's not easy to prepare but uh, because you have to turn on the fire blister, peel it, uh, and uh, it become in this way, so you can see very well. You have to remove the seeds also because the seeds are very spicy. And uh, with a knife you cut a very small um, uh, cut, so uh, we try to fill it very well. The, uh, the chile. As you see, we have the three colors of our flag. So the red, the parsifal, uh, parsifal of uh, green, and the sauce, which is um, white. So this uh, beautiful stuffing uh, is going to be inside the chile. So you, you have to be very careful because the chile is very delicate and try to close very well. So this is, in this way it's very nice. And then you put the sauce. So you put uh, up the chile. I like very much the sauce, so for me it's very important that uh, it could be enough sauce to have a very beautiful uh, chile. And then we put uh, our green ingredient because it's very, very important, not too much, it's only a little bit uh, tasty and the presentation and finally we put some seeds of a pomegranate in order to to do a very tasty but it's also for the presentation so we are ready with these fabulous dishes uh, it's very very tasty Buen provecho, se lo recomiendo muchísimo. A weir uh, are conclude with a very sweet uh, dishes, which the name is uh, crepas uh, con cajeta. It's very easy. Chopped walnuts, four crepes, cajeta. I would like to show you how colorful is Mexico. We have a lot of kind of uh, Mexican handcraft and I try to uh, bring uh, this uh, residence, which is my home, it's your home also, but I try to bring uh, some uh, Mexican handcraft and to show how um, is uh, the diversification of our country. For example, I want to I want to show this vitrine, which uh, it seems that it's an Oriental uh, vitrine. It has the influence of uh, of the Orient, but it's Mexican. So, in this way, you can discover 
how our culture is mixed of other cultures. I would like to share uh, my favorite uh, photograph, uh, my son, his name is uh, Fernando, my daughter who is studying in uh, drama acting, so she is a very actress, <laughs> and uh, my husband. We have uh, these uh, cajitas de olinala, which is a box uh, made, uh, made by the wood, uh, the cedar wood. And uh, they are small, very, very nice. The, the, the small is, uh, remember, always Mexico. Well, finally we arrive in the preparation of our four dishes for this uh, fantastic menu. We have uh, sopa de tortilla for the starter and for the snack also the guacamole. And the main start is uh, the chile cenogada. And finally, our beautiful dessert, crepas con cajeta. So this is uh, the way uh, of the Mexican celebrate uh, with you this important Ramada and Iftar. So we want to share with you uh, your festivity, which is very important, and to really uh, thanks all of uh, you, the uh, audience, Emirati, and all the, the people. Thank you very much for the team for the TV Bay Noir. And thank you very much, uh, our Confu. Thank Maybe. you, Excellency. Uh, we uh, really enjoy this uh, preparation and we really enjoy uh, to share uh, with you. Ramadan, Ramadan Karim. Karim.